Now I've got a bunch of different tapes right here, uh, paper and plastic, and these are all the products I use when it comes to you know masking uh, pla or masking cabinets, masking the flooring, um, the boxes and everything in your face frames and masking the walls and stuff. So I'm going to talk a little bit about, you know, each one of them. I do use uh, paper and plastic when it comes to masking in my vehicles. I always only carry nine inch paper and I carry 72 inch plastic film. I don't like to have to worry about stocking, you know, a lot of different size papers or a lot of different size plastics because then you just got to inventory a bunch and then if you get familiar with using different sizes and if you run out of a, uh, one size then you're all baffled what do you need to do and you feel like you can't mask because you got to go down to the store and get that size paper it's better to use multiple rows or cut your paper or fold your paper or once again same with uh, plastic I use 72 inch plastic film yeah shorter plastics will be a little bit cheaper but once again stocking inventory becomes a headache and a nightmare if the plastic's too long I just fold it up don't cut it and throw it out because it'll blow away in the wind or just make a big mess track around the place I just fold it tack it so I use nine inch paper 72 inch plastic film and then I use a variety of tapes uh, from sure tape so sure tape is the manufacturer of frog tape and I got a lot of different frog tapes if I'm going to be masking on anything that's a delicate surface um, anything like wallpaper uh, faux finishes decorative finishes I would be using a yellow frog tape when it comes to doing cabinets you know that's typically pretty rare when it comes to doing the face frames when I'm masking the face frames I'm going to be using frog tape green so I'll be masking the freight the face frames with frog tape green and I'll be using the paper in plastic I use an uh, inch and a half and you'll see you know, some of the techniques when it comes to masking you know what it looks like and why I use this size I use inch and a half to mask the insides of the face frames any type of um, production uh, we use frog tape orange frog tape orange is a production tape significantly cheaper than the other frog tape versions like frog tape green or yellow this is a production style tape so um, typically doing cabinets you're uh, you're gonna be masking on these doors masking on these face frames and stuff cabinets are a, a multi-day job they usually take you know um, three days two and a half three days to do it um, but sometimes you know, a lot of people are uh, doing cabinets a set of kitchen cabinets you know in five days so um, frog tape orange only has a three-day release time I typically my production tape like to remove it same day so I'm not going to use production tape that's going to be tacked onto any surfaces because the ad adhesive dries a lot faster uh, frog tape green is a 21 day release tape and it releases a lot easier from your face frames and it's just um, a lot better it doesn't remove finishes and stuff but it gives a really good tack really good adhesion to your face frames when I'm masking the flooring the paper out in the field I'm gonna be using a production tape I use frog tape blue to mask my flooring and that's along any of my edges where my um, my um, paper is actually going to be touching flooring so uh, you're going to have a lot of different types of flooring out there you're going to have tile this is a tile bathroom so all my edges will be masked with frog tape blue and um, frog tape blue is very similar to the green and yellow and I'll talk about um, the differences what makes these tapes superior to even frog tape orange and what what is special about those tapes in another lesson um, but frog tape blue along the edges if I'm going to be masking on a hardwood floor so you could have a hardwood floor in a kitchen uh, hardwood floors have sensitive finishes they've got finishes that you could end up peeling up and once again I know from experiences I I've used production tape to uh, mask my paper down it pulled up the finish if you're gonna be masking on any type of hardwood floorings that has a finish make sure you use a delicate surface tape to mask down so those are uh, some of the tapes I use the um, paper I use and the plastic I use will give you um, a look at what it looks like to mask some of these you're gonna run into a lot of different scenarios when it comes to masking but I'm gonna give you some basic uh, tips and tricks and techniques when it comes to masking all right so I'm gonna again begin masking my face frame the back side of the face frame just measure out my tape it's gonna tack it right to the back of my face frame here
So now I've got my face frame, the back side of it masked off. And one of the reasons why I like using inch and a half tape instead of one inch tape, it just gives me a lot more room for air in case I tear my plastic a little bit too short. So I'm gonna measure out my plastic now. I use production tape on my plastic because it's just gonna be tacked onto there. I don't need to use expensive green frog tape. Just gonna measure it out. And now this is just gonna tack right to our exposed adhesive. I'm gonna drop my plastic down inside. I'm gonna unfold it, and then bring it right out, tack that to my plastic, just like this. And now this is masked off right here. And if just check for any leaks, if you have any leaks, now you can just do any type of filling in. You need to fill in with production tape. So I'm gonna be using, I could fill in with frog tape, green, but that's more expensive. So I'm gonna be using some frog tape, production tape to just do my fill in right here. Make sure I don't have any leak leaks on any of these edges. This is all tack. There is kind of a little bit of leak there. You can flop it over, but I'm just gonna do my fill-ins right here. If I need to do any type of filling in, just tack that down. There's a few small holes right here. You can tack down, just like this. Now that face frame is all masked off and ready to go. Back sides of the drawers, Just mask off just the same way. I'm working around the drawer guides. Measure off my paper. Tack that down. Tack it to my tape. It's all good to go. Gotta just fill in where my rollers are. You don't want any overspray getting on your rollers so they won't roll properly. There we go. So that's how you do a face frame and a drawer front. There's a lot of different ways that you can mask cabinets, a lot of different scenarios, but that's what it looks like, you know, using the tapes that I use.